going on guys welcome to my very first video on my channel i hope you guys are as excited as i am i cannot wait to show so much content that you guys have always been asking for but i'm gonna be doing a q a and i decided that i'm actually gonna be getting ready while i do it i know there's a lot of you guys who always ask i know what's your makeup routine what products do you use so today i'm gonna be showing you guys everything that i do and i promise i'm gonna keep it real with you guys i'm not gonna add any products or take out any products that I don't usually use. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. My makeup routine is honestly really really simple and it's super easy. I feel like anybody could do it and I don't really use like too expensive products so I'm starting by moisturizing my face because I have really dry skin. If I don't moisturize my face my makeup will literally have patches everywhere. So I'm actually using this Purito C Buckthorn cream and I actually really love this stuff. It's supposed to help with brightening and I kid you not I feel like that really does work guys like it helps brighten your skin. And let me show you guys a little close-up so you can see it. When Alex and I came back from our Catalina trip, my whole forehead was so sunburned. And I started using this and I feel like it actually really helped. And also don't mind, I don't know if you guys can still see right here, but that's where I burned myself with the freaking curling iron. Question number one, what's your age? So I'm actually 23 years old. Yes, I'm older than Alex by like months. His birthday's coming up in September. My birthday's in January. So we're only like a couple months apart. Where are your rings from? My rings, I always get that question, you guys. So my rings are actually from Mexico. Like that's usually where I always buy like my gold rings from. So I'm gonna be doing a really simple and just like glowy makeup today. Um, I'm gonna be using the NYX Born to Glow. I'm in the shade, where's the shade? You guys, I'm so new to this, like, oh my god, I'm in the shade. I don't know, I feel weird. I'm in the shade Medium Olive. This is more of like a lightweight foundation, that's why I really like it. It's really easy to apply. It's kind of watery though, so you just gotta be careful with it because it's really, really runny. So I usually always just use my finger. My hands are always clean before I start doing my makeup, by the way. Then I just take whatever is left on my finger and rub it on my sponge. Also, by the way, guys, I'm using a different sponge just because my sponge is so disgusting. This is, I think, Dose of Colors, um, but this is my favorite sponge. I've had this for more than a year, I kid you not, and it's literally all ripped and beat up. But this is my favorite sponge. I used to use this Real Techniques one um, years back, and it was pretty good, too. I always kind of go like behind here and bring it down. I feel like this foundation is so easy to blend. I think that's why I really, really like it. If I were to do like a more full coverage, then I would be using um, the L'Oreal Infallible. And I'm telling you, like my makeup is not even expensive, you guys. I use whatever I like. I don't really go based off of like brands. If I like something, I'm gonna use it, you know? I don't really care like how much it costs or anything. So, I mean, it goes both ways for expensive products as well. Like, if I like something, then I'm gonna buy it. But I definitely feel like you don't have to go all out and buy, like, the most expensive products. There are a lot of really good drugstore products as well. So I think that's pretty good. Um, now I'm gonna just spray my face before I add concealer. And I've been using this Milani Make It Last one. I'm almost out of it, but I do want to find, like, a better one. I don't know, I'm kind of always iffy about setting sprays because they all have like alcohol and i feel like alcohol really dries out my skin so if you guys have any recommendations on a good setting spray definitely let me know because i kind of just got this one like really fast so yeah let me know down below but i usually just spray like my whole face moving on i'm gonna answer another question really quick before i put on concealer but so this question says how do you keep yourself motivated to keep working out i feel like this is for sure one of the questions that you guys always ask me um how do you stay motivated and i feel like after a while you just get used to like working out it definitely does grow on to you i know at first it could be really really hard to stay consistent and find a routine but trust me when i tell you you will feel so much better physically and mentally when you work out when you start taking care of your body when you start feeding yourself like healthy things and don't get me wrong i still go out and eat sometimes like i still turn up and drink sometimes like it's all about finding that balance the majority of the time i do try 
try to focus on like being healthy and staying fit and working on myself if i want to reach like my body goals then i have to work out so it just comes down to that and i feel like that's really my motivation also seeing your progress that's a really really big motivation once you start seeing progress you guys so always take your before pictures because you want to have something to compare it to i'm gonna try not to like make these answers really long because i can talk for days i'll show you guys really quick what concealers i love so i actually ran out of this one and this is the one i was using for months um and it's the covergirl true blend this is in the shade golden natural but i actually just ran out of this one so i went and i bought this tart one and this one is in light medium sand i really really love the tart the coverage is really good this one has really really good coverage i just feel like since my under eyes are more dry um you could see this one like a little bit more dry if you just want to go with like the cheaper one get this one i think it's still pretty good so i pretty much just add it right here and i have really big bags you guys um so i always add like a lot of concealer and that's just like my first application i actually go back and add like a little bit more right here so you guys will see right now I'm trying to fix my camera a little bit just because i know the lighting gets like kind of weird when i move around like it gets kind of dark when i get close to you guys i know you can still see like my little burn mark but i'm not gonna cover up anymore because i just don't want to add too much makeup on top of it kind of want to let it breathe so i'm just gonna leave it like that so next question is how did you gain weight honestly guys gaining weight took me such a long time i was literally 98 pounds all of high school up until like my senior year and that was because i decided to join weight training after i joined weight training that's when i really started to get into like lifting weights and stuff so i started lifting weights and i knew that i wanted to grow because i was very very skinny people would always make fun of me calling me like skinny bone jones ever since like middle school guys i would get made fun of for being skinny i feel like i really started gaining weight when i started working out and that was because i actually got hungrier so i realized like after each workout i would be really really hungry so i was able to eat more which helped me like up my calories so if you're trying to gain weight i do suggest like starting to work out and you know you'll start to eat a little bit more and more try to make yourself eat um more calories and stuff you don't want to eat like a bunch of junk food and like nasty stuff because then you're just gonna gain fat you want to make sure you're eating good protein like chicken fish you know um turkey that way you can get in enough protein um you definitely want to eat carbs you know like rice beans um i still eat bread if you're trying to either gain or lose weight right now know that it takes time um to stay consistent with it keep going it's gonna be hard you're not gonna want to do it sometimes but think of the end result like think about what you really want and how bad you want it and i promise you it'll be worth it so i'm actually gonna add a little bit of this elf one and this is in the shade medium peach and this one is really really light on me so i'm literally only gonna add that much i just really like to have bright under eyes um because of my bags i focus this one more like on my inner corners and then i bring it down right here Okay, so now i'm using this born this way multi-use sculpting concealer in butterscotch and this is so cute it's like a little mini one this literally goes a long way you only need a little bit of this because the first time i used it i i like sculpted my whole face and it was so much product so i literally added like the smallest amount now literally just do that on my forehead and then and that's literally all i do while i blend i'm gonna keep answering more questions because i feel like i'm not really answering the questions i'm more doing my makeup so do you ever feel alone even when alex is there and you guys i kid you not i feel like this really does happen to a lot of people including myself you could be in a room full of people and still feel alone and it's just things that you can't control like i get depressed sometimes and i feel like that's something that i don't really share with you guys and i do want to start sharing that because i know it's what a lot of people deal with so yeah i i have felt like that and alex even knows that like 
sometimes I'll just be crying out of nowhere I'll get sad out of nowhere and I'm just crying for like hours non-stop for no reason just get into like this little bubble where I'm just sad and all I want to think about is like sad stuff it's crazy and I hate it I absolute hate feeling like that sometimes I just I go through it and it's real you know so yeah i definitely do feel alone sometimes like even when alex is here i haven't felt like that thank god i haven't felt like that in a cool minute but just know that it is things that i even deal with and i'm sure a lot of people go through it so if you are depressed if you do feel alone know that things will get better like oh my gosh like i don't want to get into that question because it freaking sucks feeling like that and i know there's a lot of people who go through it um oh my gosh you guys are really gonna make me cry on my first video like wow <sighs> okay i'm moving on but just know that it happens to other people like you're not in it alone you're not sad or depressed on your own like a lot of people go through that and it gets better even if you're like at your worst even if you're at like the bottom of the pit if you feel like there's nothing for you left trust me when i tell you it'll be okay and things do get better so next question i don't know why you guys ask this did you ever send alex nudes you guys no like i never in my life sent a nude i mean i would send him like cute little pictures you know here and there but it was never like a nude so i'm gonna go in with literally my favorite bronzer this is the butter bronzer this one's the deep one i think this is the darkest one and i literally have been using this for years like i kid you not probably more than five years and i could never get over the smell it smells so freaking good i use like a little brush like this and i kind of just dip it in there i don't use too much either and I just go over. I don't bring it all the way down. I just stay like right here. Like that. And I always either do the whistle or I smile. Just so I could kind of know where to put it. Alright, so next question is what's an update on your surgery? Mm -hmm. 